What week is this again? <laughs> the week of June. Week. What's Monday? Thirteenth. June thirteenth. Yeah. <sighs> ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're on camera. Let's do it. All right. Hey, welcome to the June thirteenth workout of the week. It's a four-person workout, so you can do this with all your friends, depending on what skill level they are. There's gonna be four exercises ranging from someone who's very immobile, you're just getting started, or maybe you're injured, all the way up to someone who can really, really push the pace. Um, so just pick where you fit within this, uh, within this, um, what's the word? Video? No, scale range. range. Pick where you fit within this range of exercises. Uh, be smart, don't get injured. Uh, the first person, the first exercise you're gonna do is really just like a, slow breathing um, and stretching routine. So it's a no impact at all. The first five minutes you're gonna do box breathing. So you're gonna get in a chair and with good upright posture, open up your diaphragm, open up your stomach, and you're going to just breathe in for four seconds through your nose, hold it for four seconds deep in your chest, exhale for four seconds, and then hold that breath out for four seconds. Slowing everything down, and just gonna repeat that for five straight minutes. So Four seconds in, hold for four seconds. Four seconds out, hold the exhale for four seconds. After you do that, you're gonna do uh, a set of a seated ABCs. So all you're going to do is keep your foot flat on the ground and you're gonna spell the ABCs with your foot as wide as you can with each leg. A all the way through Z. If keeping a flat foot, you can only go out a little bit, that's fine, but you're gonna try to work those hips and get as wide as you can. After you've done both legs all the way to Z, you're gonna do uh, leg drop. So then you're gonna get on the ground, on your back, both feet bent, put one knee up on the, or one foot up on the other knee, and keeping shoulders on the ground, you're just gonna drop each knee towards the ground, nice and slow on each side, letting that back stretch out. Uh, you're doing 10 with each leg. Then you're doing 10 cat camels from an all four position. You're going to pretend there's like a string tied to the center of your back and pull that string up, arch, arch, arch for three full seconds. Then you're going the opposite way, pushing your belly down as you stretch and look up. Back and forth, so 10 times in each direction. Only as far as you can stretch, three seconds in each. Then you can either do this standing or seated again. You're gonna do scat wall slide, so in a nice upright posture. You're going to pretend you're leaning against an imaginary wall and starting with your hands down. You're gonna slowly, slowly, five full seconds, reach all the way up. The whole time you're reaching up, your arms are pressing backward against that wall, all the way up, and then all the way back down. A, five, a full five second count, making sure you're always pushing back um, ten, 10 times in each direction with that. Once you finish that, you're gonna go back to that box breathing for the remainder of 20 minutes. So you're setting the 20 minute timer to do all that. Starting with five minutes of breathing, all those stretches, finishing with the remaining time of breathing. That's it for the first person. Second person is gonna be doing intervals at your pace. So for 20 straight minutes, you're just going to run. So here we have a gym, but if you can mark off like 25 to 30 yards anywhere you are, or you can do this on a treadmill and uh, just do this a minute at a time. You're gonna sprint, jog, or as fast as you can move for a minute. Then you're gonna stop and you're just gonna walk for a minute. Then you're gonna sprint for a minute or jog for a minute, walk for a minute. In minute intervals back and forth, back and forth. Um, just as fast as you can, you can do this on you can do this outside, you can do this in a gym, on a treadmill, or on a bike, or an elliptical, or any machine as well, a rower. So just minute intervals. The third person, it's kind of like a low impact one, and you're just going to be going at your own pace. So, I um, have all these lovely ladies here to demonstrate as well. Monica is going to demonstrate uh, this exercise. So first you're going to do 20 body weight squats. So just with an upright chest, pushing your butt back. You're going to do 20 squats all the way down, all the way up. Only going as low as you can with your chest up, pushing your butt back. After you finish 20 squats, you're going to run to half court and back. That's just as fast as you can. If you're not in a gym, about 15 yards and back. Then you're going to do 16 jumping jacks all the way out, all the way in. As wide as you can. If you can't get that wide and you can't jump, you're just doing 20 standing high knees. Then half court and back. Then you're doing 12 mountain climbers. So in that push-up position, a nice flat plank, driving each knee up to the chest as fast and as hard as you can. That's 12 each leg, then half court and back. Then eight push-ups. So we've gone 20, 16, 12. Now we're on eight, as low as you can, and back up with a nice tight plank. If you have to drop to your knees or modify it, do that. 
After the eight push-ups, half court and back, and the last thing is our set of four, that's four squat thrusts. So you're gonna put your hands in the ground, jump your feet back, jump your feet up, stand up. She gives you a little side angle here so you can see. Uh, after that, you're gonna run all the way to full court and back, or like 30 yards and back. If you have to slow down within that, that's fine. But after you finish a full round, you're gonna wait till you're fully recovered before you start your next round. Um, try to get three to four rounds of this. If you can go more, that's great. If you have to go less, that's fine. But don't start the next round until you're fully recovered. You can give your full effort through the whole round. Doesn't matter if that takes you five minutes, eight minutes, or two minutes, whatever that is. The last one is a much higher intensity. It's kind of like a go, go, go. It's as many rounds as possible exercise. Uh, you are going to do 10 burpees or squat thrusts. So down in that push-up position or squat thrust, and you're gonna jump up. After you do 10 of those, you're gonna run to full court and back. So over about 30 yards if you're not in a gym. After you do that, you're gonna do 10 toe taps. So from a plank position, butt's gonna go up and you're gonna touch your, your hand to your opposite toe, opposite hand to opposite toe. When you come down off of that toe tap, make sure your plank is nice and level like hers was. Then you're gonna bear crawl to half court and back. So on all fours, you're gonna crawl to half court and back as low as you can, as fast as you can. Then you're gonna do 10 get-ups. Not Turkish get-ups, you're just gonna get down on the ground and then you're just going to stand back up. And you're gonna get back down on the ground and you're gonna stand back up 10 times as fast as you can. Then you're gonna monkey hustle to half court and back. So it's like a bear crawl, only sideways. It's like a sideways bear crawl. Once you get back, you're doing 10 lunge pulses or split squats. So you're just in a uh, lunge position and you're gonna drop that knee towards the ground and up, to knee towards the ground and up, 10 with each leg. Then you're gonna go back to a bear crawl, down and back half court, then 10 push-ups. Modify these any way you can, get your chest down to the ground. Uh, after the 10 push-ups, you're gonna sprint all the way to full court and back or about 30 yards. This is as, as many rounds as possible. So once you finish, you're just gonna go right back to the top. 10 burpees or squat thrusts, the full court run, 10 toe taps, all these. I would have these written out. Um, so throughout this whole exercise, the full 20 minutes, rest as much as you need to within it, but it's go, 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 it's go, go, go. With all of these modified down as much as you have to, it's all on a 20 minute timer. There's no better, there's no worse, it's just pick where you are at. Um, always, always modify, scale back if you have to, but really, really try to push the pace. If you have a group of friends that are at all different levels, Get them all together, enjoy a nice 20 minute workout. Let's get fit this week. You guys ready? Now we, now we do it.